all right fellas now here you have to uh, evaluate what is what value you're going to get after solving this this trigonometric function so over here you simply have to uh, apply the basic formula or the general formula of your tangents uh, that involve the summation of the two values present at the place of their angle that you call argument in other in, in other sense so you know the basic formula of your tangent like if I say people are quite familiar with this so suppose that if you are having two angles and there's the summation of these two angles and what will what will be the tangent of that summation of two angles so it is it is so found to be this tan beta so this is the formula that we are going to apply over here and this is the working that we have done that suppose that this is your alpha and this is your beta just like that and you just substitute these values in the given formula and you just got this and you know the tangent pi by 4 is your 45 degrees and it is 1 so this thing comes out to be this okay now at the place of your tan theta by 2 you just sub you can put sine theta by 2 upon cos theta by 2 at the place of your tangent and that's what we have done in the numerator as well as in the denominator after that you just simply focus on your numerator and just take out the LCM and you just got this do the same thing in the denominator as well take out the LCM and you just got this so the common values in the denominators of numerator and the denominator is cancelled out and the simplified value you obtained is this okay so further you can also uh, if people find difficulty in understanding this way you can also say that plus sine theta by 2 upon cos theta by 2 this thing is actually getting divided with this thing all right Okay, it, it is actually this. And once when you just convert this division into multiplication, this side is going to be overturned. And so the cos theta by 2 will come in the numerator and this stuff will come in the denominator. So cos theta by 2 and this cos theta by 2 will get cancelled. And what is left is just this and the denominator and this value in the denominator. That's what we have just got this over here. All right. Now, in the next step, we just take now it is too difficult to obtain the value in a simplified order. Uh, so for, in order to uh, get more A's, you just take the conjugate of your denominator value. OK, so the conjugate is going to be just nothing but uh, but a change sign in the mid, which is positive. All right. So once you just take the conjugate, you just simplify further by direct multiplication from numerator to numerator and denominator to the denominator and you just got this thing all right now over here you can further see that in the denominators it, it is assumed to be a form like this it is a plus b and a minus b and in the mid there is a multiplication so you just put the formula of a square minus b square in the denominator right over here okay so that's what we have done and in the numerator numerator once both the factors were com were, were same so there comes the whole square outwards so over here you just apply the formula of a plus b whole square it comes out to be this and this is the formula of the double angle of your cosine okay so cos square theta minus sine square theta give you cos 2 theta so if you just take theta by 2 then this is going to give you the answer cos theta because theta by 2 is half of your theta so theta if it is taken as the double angle then at this place there comes to be theta by 2 so this 
denominator can be replaced by cos theta very very uh, confidently over here it is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared if you take sine theta by 2 by your a and cos theta by 2 as a b then this thing can be written in this way now you know the basic formula that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 so at the place of theta if i take another common angle theta by 2 then sine square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 is equals to 1 and 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 can be replaced by another general trigonometric formula which is this now over here if i just replace this theta 2 theta by my single theta then the half of this theta is come going to be theta by 2 and theta by 2 all right so i can replace this factor by simple sine theta all right so this is my one this is my sine theta and then in the denominator i'm having my cos theta so this thing tells me that my 10 pi by 4 plus theta by 2 is equivalent to this thing one plus sine theta upon cos theta hope hope you've understood and people who just uh, find this video helpful i just put a humble request to subscribe my channel thank you